We have some breaking news. Former New Mexico governor and former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Bill Richardson, has died at the age of 75. My colleague NBC's Julie Serkin is joining me now to look back on Richardson's five decades of public service. You know, Julie, he was a frequent guest on our show, and I always enjoyed introducing him because I said, sir, you wear so many hats. He was also secretary of energy during the Clinton administration. What a storied career he had. Yeah, absolutely, Alex. You hit it right on the head there. Look, uh, a statement from his uh, nonprofit, the Richardson Center for Diplomacy, released a statement saying that the 75-year-old passed away in his sleep overnight at his summer home in Massachusetts. He was a giant. He served in these hallowed halls for six terms as a U.S. congressman uh, from New Mexico. He then went on, of course, being tapped by President Bill Clinton in the 90s to be not only his energy secretary, but also also, uh, he entered the diplomacy ring. He was uh, his, the U.N. ambassador to the uh, United Nations, excuse me, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, uh, as Clinton appointed him. And he left his career in Congress, being sent on a mission abroad to negotiate the release of a helicopter uh, of detainees from a helicopter crash in North Korea in the 90s. He then, of course, went on to serve two terms as governor in New Mexico. He also ran for president in 2008, becoming the first Democrat of Hispanic descent to mount a nationwide uh, campaign for president. Of course, he later dropped out, uh, but he served as governor until 2010. After that, though, he began a whole other career, volunteer work and nonprofit work, starting his Center uh, for Diplomacy since 2011. The center says this morning uh, he helped negotiate the release of more than 80 people, reuniting families. These were people who Richardson said were wrongfully detained abroad. He used his skills as a diplomat to make that happen. And I want I want to read you a part of a statement coming out just now, moments ago, from Senator Ben Ray Lujan, who notes that he actually held the same House seat as Richardson did uh, back when he served in the House. He says, in part, Governor Richardson was a close friend who held the same House seat that I did. He knew how to get things done. He worked closely with my late father in the legislature. His passing is incredibly heartbreaking for so many New Mexicans who knew and respected him. He leaves behind a legacy that will never be matched and one that New Mexicans will always take pride in. He, of course, like uh, the other senator of the state, Senator Heinrich, joins in prayer with the family, as so many do. I also want to note, Richardson was just nominated a week ago, again, his second nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize for all of the work that he did in his nonprofit and, of course, under the Clinton administration as well. He was nominated by four Democratic senators, including those two from New Mexico. So just really a heartbreaking end to the story of Governor Bill Richardson. He uh, held a, such a your place in so many hearts and, and played such an important role, not only here domestically, but certainly abroad on the diplomatic stage as well, Alex.